In this section, I want to talk about one more thing about RIP, and that's uh, manual neighborship between two different routers. But as you remember, I have told you that there is no adjacency between routers. Routers send and receive updates using broadcast in version 1 or multicast in version 2. And if they hear each other, they will add the other routers update to their database. Here I want to show you something. Assuming that this link between router 3 and ISP1 is a link that does not support multicast or broadcast, such as a frame relay link that does not support multicast. What happens if I cannot send update or receive updates from the other router? I need to go and add the other router as a neighbor here, but as you can see, this type of neighborship is not an active neighborship. This is just adding the IP address of the other router and telling this router to send the updates using unicast. Okay? So let's go to ISP1 and configure this. If I go to ISP1 here and go to RIP, you can see that I have a neighbors tab here. So let's go back to interfaces and tell this ISP1 that Ethernet 2 is going to be a passive interface. It does not send updates using broadcast and multicast. First of all, I need to add this Ethernet 2. I don't want to change receive and send. I just want to go and select passive. This means that there is no multicast or broadcast sending or receiving. Click on OK. Now uh, let's go to router 3 and do the same thing here. Just one go interfaces, the interface is Ethernet 3. And click on this plus sign, select Ethernet 3, select it to be a passive interface and click on OK. Now if I receive, if I am receiving some of this from router 3, it is going to be voided. As you can see, some of these routes are going to have a metric of 16. That means they are going to be uh, voided. Okay, what happens if I want to have updates from the other router? I need to go to neighbors and add the other router as a neighbor here so that I can receive updates from the other router using unicast communication. So I click on this plus sign and tell ISP1 that 3131 is a neighbor. And I should do the same thing on the other side. So I go to router 3, go to neighbors, click on this plus sign and tell that 3131 is a neighbor. Click on OK. And now I can send and receive updates from this and to this rather using unicast communication and this is one of the updates that I just have received from the other neighbor using unicast communication.